You've got the, you've got a mustache. What's I've going always, on? I always have a mustache. Well, the, you know, you normally have like a mustache that's accompanied by some other facial hair. Well, Whereas there is at some the other moment, facial hair. It's yeah, I mean, only a small amount though. You've got like a a George Michael style five o'clock shadow going on for the rest of your face, and then you've got like a George Michael in the video clip for outside style mustache <laughs> <laughs> that you're rocking on the top lip. I'm sensing you don't like my mustache. What's going on? Oh, I'm not saying I don't like it. Well, Actually, no, yeah, I am. I'm it. suspicious of it. it does. I'm like, you're a cop. You're an undercover cop. It reminds me of that time that we were in a Byron Bay nightclub about 20 years ago and nobody would talk to us because they thought you were an undercover cop because they recognized your face from Blue Healers and they were like, who's this narc? It's given me those vibes. I don't know why I'm suspicious of you, but I feel like I, I am. Yes, it's made me suspicious of – like if you had that mustache – yeah. When you had that encounter with that woman who either did have a uh, sister or pretended to have a sister <laughs> to either yeah. to throw you off. This mustache, I would have believed that she pretended to have a sister. I would have been like, okay, yeah. she spotted you with that mustache. She's gone, I don't trust this guy. I'm not sure why, but I'm just getting a weird feeling from that bit of hair in the middle of his face. And I'm going <laughs> to make up a cover story. Not even like an ironic, like hipster kind of, I don't get nah. away with it, like an ironic hipster way. Well, it looks nah. legit. Like I... That I, I genuinely think I'm Clark Gable. You it definitely has that era about it. It's definitely got that old school, you know, black and white, you know, movie star kind of look about Matt it. You know, Idol. or you're an Australian cricketer touring the subcontinent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with both of those. It is interesting though, like as someone who does like to uh, huh. experiment with uh, facial hair, it's only minor. The reason why you are having such a revulsion. <laughs> <laughs> I am mustache. too. I can't take my eyes because off because I, I, I'm telling you, like I've had this mustache. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it's a bit shaded and a bit more grass around mm. here. But the only difference is that normally it grows bushier, like yeah. more Lee Matthews. And I just, I just, I, I, I tapered it in with mm. the styling. You know, I don't like, like it. Reason. It feels culturally inappropriate. It looks like you're trying to fashion a boomerang. That's what it looks like. It's very boomerang shaped. And I don't feel like as a white Australian man, you have the cultural right to wear a boomer, boomerang in the middle of your face. It's funny. Like this only happened in the last 24 hours mm. um, that I shaved this. And both you and Gemma have had a mm. similar Reaction, it's too round. It's too rounded what? off at the edge. It feels like safety bowling. That's what it is. I've gone 10 pin bowling and somebody's put the inflatable guards in the lanes. That's what your mustache it's reminds me of. too manicured is yes. what you're saying. It's like, it's not masculine. Like, you know, like I just let my mustache grow. You know, no David Boone yeah. about this. It looks this intentional. Is, it's, yeah. it's got a very intentional look about it as opposed to, I guess, I'm used to your facial hair looking Being more like yeah exactly more, more like it's just grown on your face okay. and you vaguely shaped it whereas this one really looks like you've gone out on a limb to make a statement but if i'd established a persona that was a bit more like i'm a david yeah. bowie i'm a i'm a i'm a um what do you uh, call it like a um chameleon like a, no a chameleon but someone who's kind of like a fancy a, a dandy like i'm a bit of a dandy a modern day oh, okay dandy. like i like my i'm into my clothes i wear sometimes i wear a pocket watch you know, I, I sort of, I'm on eBay and I'm buying like kind of vintage suits all the time. I listen yeah. to records on vinyl and stuff, but like that's my kind of thing rather than the schlub, the sleeveless kind of schlub always in like exercise gear <laughs> that I am. Do you think I get, is it just the fact that like you would accept this being on say, oh, like, I don't know who's like a, like a, um, who's a stylish kind of hipster around about my age, like a musician or someone like that. Like, um. Like the lead singer um, of the Killers, right? Doesn't he have a mustache okay. like this? Brandon Flowers. Is that Brandon what his name is? Flowers, yep, yep. yep. So, That's yeah, if that. Brandon Flowers was rocking that mustache, I'd be like, absolutely, 100%. That looks exactly like the lead singer of the Killers would wear that mustache. Like he's wearing some yeah. sort of. If you know, George Clooney draw mustache. Oh, like yes. This. Yeah, he can get away with it. Of course so he can. People with Living in a villa style. on some sort of like lake in Italy, you can absolutely ruck that moustache. But yes, I think it is that it is incongruous to the rest of your presentation. I think that that's what it is. It feels <laughs> like... It feels like you've not earned that mustache, like that you need to go out and buy some vinyl and get yourself a pocket watch before... Like it feels like it's you've hipster cultural appropriated 
that right, mustache, I, I think. It. Yeah. It almost, yeah, it feels like I, I, I'm mocking. I'm mocking mm. like hipster culture because it's like, yeah, I'll grow the mustache and maybe give myself a bit of a quiff, but everything else is 100% slob. Yeah, you're not living the lifestyle. You're a tourist. You're but, just visiting. But, but hipsters must come home and throw on like, you know, tracky dacks and a comfortable T-shirt when they're done hipstering. Well, maybe not though. Maybe they have some skinny tracky pants, you know, and then they have like some, you know, old band T-shirt that is like, you know, hipster commentary on modern life and the fact that relaxing at home. I mean, there might still be some hipster ironic take on homeware, right? Are you suggesting that you think that hipsters are just normal slobs like the rest of us at home? And yes, then they then they only go out clothes. into the world. You're like, I better, better get dressed as a hipster. <laughs> like, yeah, and the rest uniform. of the time, they're just like normal, like the rest of us. Yeah, I think I think there's a certain um, a segment of like hipsters or like rockabillies or whatever who live, you know, live the lifestyle 24 seven. But fucking occasionally, you just need to put on some Target tracksuit pants and like, you know, a ten dollar t shirt. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I think that's what it is. I just think it is exactly what you've said. It feels a if, bit too rounded, you know, and it feels a bit too like it's making it all about itself. Like normally when you have a mustache, it feels like it's part of a collaboration with the rest of your face. Whereas it feels like this mustache right. has gone solo. Yeah, like, you know, Justin if, Timberlake of my face. Yeah, if your facial hair was a boy band, <laughs> I liked your mustache as part of the boy band. But now that it's a solo artist and it's had a bit of a glow up, I just All don't, right. it doesn't fit in anymore. Okay. So if the mustache is the JT, then which one's the Joey Fatone? The nose, right? That's the one that's like, oh, geez, all right. We will forgive this for the rest of this. No, I think that it's your ears because they're covered oh. up by your headphones. <laughs> Does that, that they've, they've, made them, they've made them. They've made them high. No one is. No, are you saying the ears aren't part of your face? I don't think so. Like if someone said, describe him, you would say dark eyebrows, you know, yeah. hazel eyes, round nose, mustache. I wouldn't say two small ears. <laughs> I would definitely Even add the ears as that, part of a facial would... description. Whenever you ever seen Only if like a, a court sketch, for example, about somebody who's like, you know, when you have like a crime's been committed and somebody you know, tells the sketch artist what the person looks like, they don't give them a potato head. They put like ears on them. I don't think you would describe ears. Like I never take note I mean, unless someone has like. What? So you're saying the sketch ears. artist out of the police station is just banging in whatever standard it is that he yeah. normally puts there. He, yeah, I reckon he's got his generic ears because... One of the things that well, would, if you were trying to describe me, one of the things that would be best to describe is that I have ears that join at the bottom rather than go up. Like, that is I, a very identifiable feature, that, like a fingerprint that you'd be able to go, that is definitely that person. I mean, th you've told me about your ears and I'd forgotten. That's how little it means to me or as much I noticed what your ears do or anyone's ears. Like if you did So a, where do you think the, the face blind, finishes? Do you think the face what? finishes just before the ear? Like at the sideburn? Do you consider the, the yeah. sideburn and the edge of the jaw to be the your cheek. face? Anything, but anything behind the mouth is no longer your face. Behind the jaw. Okay. That's all face. I asked like you this question. Hannibal then. Lecter, when he cut off yeah. that dude's face, didn't right. make sure he cut around the Good. ears. I'm like glad that went... I'm glad that you have gone to um, the world of movies because you've <laughs> entered into evidence Hannibal Lecter as your character witness. I'm going to enter in the cast of the hit movie Face Off. When oh, they yeah. took the face off in Face Off. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't just whack the front of the face on. Like, Caster Troy, he had his Caster Troy's ears, or otherwise he would be very identifiable as going, they're not your ears. What's going on? There's something really different with your ears. I don't think I would notice ears. Like, if you swap faces with, like, I don't know. like Take animals. your headphones off. <laughs> just put, put, take your headphone off for a second. Just, like, pull one out so I can see your ears at the moment. Right. Yeah. So your ears barely stick out. They're quite small. Um, if you put, if I put your face, if we had a toe fop face off situation, toe face off for, for one of the live shows, we managed to get our hands on the face off technology and we that thought would be awesome. this will be great, right? <laughs> But we have to keep like the the the, the, the contrivance of face that never works yeah. is like oh we make their bodies look the same as well yeah. for us it's just the faces so it's my yeah. face stretched over your giant six foot three <laughs> body 
and it's your like loose skinned six foot three face hanging over my five ten. I mean, so it's like my the, the ears are actually tight. the ears are pinned together at the back, just yeah. to hold my face on. You just tie like, your ears behind my skull. I'm like, I'm Charlie. I'm really fit. Limp, 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 limp. <laughs> Shuffling onto the stage. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I reckon if you'd showed me like, mm. you know, uh, the people who are closest in my life, like you, uh, leave I own around it. Cause the sides yeah. would be a giveaway, but like Gemma, you people that I speak to all the time, if I had to do like a, a lineup of the ears, I think I would struggle with there. Just say there was like three dudes and three girls that I had to pick off like three male, three female. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think I pay enough attention to ears to be able to. Well, okay. But if I say we did outlines of faces. Instead of like just having the ear there and you have to identify the people by ear. So I their can ears. just move the ear in on each face. I can bring across your face. Yeah, okay. Then that would probably. It would help. You'd be like, yeah. that looks right. That fits, right? I think that you uh, need. If there's any. We, we have some cops who listen mm. to this show. I wonder if they could put us in touch with like a courtroom artist or a sketch artist. Not a courtroom artist. I've had that. But a sketch artist and we can ask them like, you know. What are you really trying to get detail on? Eyes, jaw, nose, and then where do ears rank in that? Like, have you ever been, have you ever lost, have you ever like, you know, given up on a lead on a suspect because you couldn't get the ears right? I bet that ears are important. I mean, particularly in the criminal world, you'd imagine there's a lot of distinctive ears. We're talking like, I mean, yeah, Chopper. Dick Tracy and it's like Jughead, you know. And no, I'm thinking ears and- like, you know, Chopper Reed, obviously, most famously, you know, cut off his ears. But like in that criminal world, like a lot of ex boxes people who've been in fights been in scraps yep. you're talking about like cauliflower ears you're talking about the idea that somebody might be missing part of their ear but also piercings piercings are hugely identifiable i would have thought so if somebody's got like three earrings in their left ear and like there's an earring in the top like i mean immediately to me that is more identifiable than a set of generic eyes surely i'm just gonna i'm just gonna google like uh, what do you what do you call it? Um, police ID sketches. Just I'm gonna yeah. bring some up and see if uh, how how detailed or how prominent the ears are. Police ID sketches. Okay, oh here's a good one. I can um, share my screen with you. Just give me okay. un momento, so we can look at these ones and decide if we reckon ears play a big part. Give me one sec, just gonna share the screen. You don't have to leave this in, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, Mike loves to leave in the uh, work in progress. <laughs> Give people a little bit of a feeling of how the podcast actually works for the people at home. You're like, wow, it is really slow when they're looking stuff up, isn't it? Okay, so. This is sketches used by the okay. police in the USSR to identify suspects based on their race. So it's kind okay. of not the most racist <laughs> stereotypes, but I mean, leaning it's, into the racist it's stereotypes. It's pretty racist. So the, the top, no, but they're not the top line is Russian, Ukrainian, Jew. <laughs> <laughs> feels, feels a little racist. The gypsy looks like the dude from The Last of Us, that um, Pedro Pascal. Oh, yeah, it does, actually. Very handsome gypsy. I've okay. got to be honest so, with you. All right, they've listed Russians, Ukrainians, da, 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 Belarusian, Lithuanians, Georgians, etc. Mm. So people all from around the uh, USSR. This is mm-hmm. from the 60s, this sketch. And I would say that the ears play a significant part yes. in the identity of all these people. Yeah, they all have different ears, don't they? Well, no one is mistaking me as coming from the USSR because none of these guys <laughs> have small <laughs> ears. They're all very healthy well, like endowed ears. Can you have well endowed ears? Yeah, I believe that you can have well endowed ears. And you're right. They're, they're big eared people. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I take that back. Uh-huh. Obviously, ears play a huge part. I guess maybe it's because I never notice my ears when I look in the mirror. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I mean? I just assume that no one else pays any attention. I think it's also because as we're doing this podcast, uh, what happens on the screen is that you know, I have a big picture of you, but there's a smaller picture of me, like, you know, next to it. Mm. And it's probably the same with you. And you're wearing headphones that cover both your ears. So mm. I think you've got a little bit of the, you know, the toddler who puts their hand over their eyes and thinks they're invisible. I think because you can't see your ears right now, you don't think they play a major part in your face. 
Well, it's only to when people discover I've got small mm. ears, it's always like, uh, oh, you do. Like that. No one, I don't think I've ever had anyone, well, maybe one or two people sort of just like pick it as themselves. Normally they're prompted by right. Gemma or, or someone trying to give me shit that I've got very small ears. So I just assume like if it was a more prominent feature, then people would be like, ah, like I'd have more of a nickname about it. They'd call me Minty or something like that. I mean, yeah, but I'm not even sure that like, it, it looks like a minty, your head. It doesn't really look like a minty unless the minty has been incorrectly packed. Because with the minty, the twirly bits are at the, like it would be like on the top of your head and down the bottom of right. your chin if your head looked yeah. like a minty. Like this is like very much a minty that's been in the car and sort of melted into a different shape. Well, what do you call? So if like Big Ears is like Jughead, you'd call someone like Jughead or something like that. That's the common nickname for someone right. like Four Eyes, Big Ears. And, and that's because it, ears. it's a handle essentially. So what has a small handle? Yeah. You're like teacup. Teapot? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but, they only, but you need one of those ones that has the yeah. two handles. Like when you're at a Chinese restaurant or something and you're sipping soup and stuff. What are they called? <laughs> <laughs> To see the full video, join our Patreon. Patreon.com slash TOEFOP.